Welcome to XR Today. My name's David Dungay. We are here reporting live in the sunny Madeira at Immerse Global Summit 2022. I'm with Monica from Meta. How are you doing, Monica? Hello, I'm doing well, thank you. It's great to be here. Fantastic. So let's get straight into immersive learning. Um, I want to get a bit of history. Um, how have we got to where we are today when it comes to immersive learning? Sure. I think it's probably a combination of two things. One is the pandemic, which uh, nobody liked or wanted, but the silver lining is I think it forced us to see everything differently. And so in the world of education, we were thrust into this very unifying global experiment where we had to bring learning online. And so we were all challenged with how do we keep our students engaged with no classroom, without the use of labs, practicums, or field trips. And so we slowly recognized that we were bringing knowledge online. And that part was incredible that we could at least deliver some access, but that what we really needed was to unlock the curiosity and creativity and especially connection. And so the challenge became, how do we connect people with a true sense of presence where we can pass objects to each other and use body language and bring in 3D simulations to our house rather than having to go on field trips? And I think at that moment, uh, the affordances of the metaverse became one of the most intriguing ways to increase access to education and transform the way we learn. And so that coupled with the fact that the technology is now mature enough. When I started in this world back in Gear VR days, you were slapping a phone on your face, people got really sick. Um, and we've advanced the technology to the point now where we still have a ways to go, but where we're at right now delivers an incredible experience in terms of allowing people to connect and have social co-presence and learn in simulated environments. Fantastic. So I, I really want to get into how Meta's bringing this alive as well. Um, obviously, the great big corporates like uh, pivot in history, right? Turning to Meta, the Metaverse. How, how are Meta bringing this, making this all come alive? Yeah, so we've realized that education, we did surveys, that education was 40% of the people were interested in education as a reason they would get into the metaverse. And so that was very compelling to us. I think, again, when the pandemic uh, sort of helped us realize that uh, metaverse is one of the biggest ways to increase access to education and transform the way we learn, um, we decided to motivate. And so we are investing $150 million in building a, a an ecosystem uh, to bring learning into the metaverse. And so we're doing it as an investment across three main areas, which is um, making sure that we are training the next generation of metaverse creators. Um, one, because it'll help them with economic opportunity and also it'll help us build the metaverse, but funding and uh, developing high quality immersive content that will completely transform the way we learn and last, it's access. Access has always been an issue with education. And so um, that's a really hard one. It will take all of us to fully solve. But for now, we're doing it through immersive tech donations and research. Fantastic. Well, $150 million. Um, hopefully, that can go a long way. Um, so, I mean, we're right at the beginning of this journey, right? So we've been here all week in Madeira talking to thought leaders like, you, like yourself. And um, we are, it's still early days, right? But what's the vision 10 years from now? Where, where are we going to be when it comes to immersive learning? I don't. I mean, that's a fun one. That's a great question. I think if you look at the the history and sort of the trajectory, you know, when I was younger, we just learned from our teacher and our parent, um, and there there wasn't a lot of extra information. It was the paragraph in the encyclopedia, and uh, now my kids are learning by this hybrid method, which is part in person, part online. And there's a lot of information that they're getting online whenever they're curious. I believe that the future in the metaverse will be what I'm calling a tribrid model, where we can seamlessly move between modalities and hop between in person, online, and then this extra layer of simulated experiences that help us connect with presence or interact with 3D visualizations and simulations. Incredibly exciting. I'm excited. I've got children as well, and uh, I can see them totally getting involved in this way of learning. Um, so uh, in Madeira at Immerse Global Summit, what are your key highlights? What, what, what are you excited about this week? What, what have you been talking to people about? Oh, it's been so exciting. We are surrounded by all of the industry experts. And, uh, you know, usually you go to conferences and there are thousands and thousands of people and their topics are broad. Everyone is here to focus on solutions around immersive technology and what we can do for the world. And um, I think we're just all unlocking extra ideas and ways to collaborate and ways to make this entire industry stronger. Um, you know, again, and Nathan kind of highlighted it perfectly, there's good and there's bad in all of this. And so how do we find that, that middle section where we're doing good fully aware of what we also need to fix as we move forward. But I'm really excited for the moment we're in right now and the future that that's coming with this. Fantastic. Well, Monica, it's been an absolute pleasure talking to you. Thank you so much for joining me. Yeah, thank you. That was wonderful. <laughs> and thank you for watching. You've been watching me, David Dungate, on XR Today.